Hey, what's going on everyone? This video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to install a text editor, specifically one of my favorites, Visual Studio Code, and then teach you how to run Python in it. Now, if you got a different text editor that you prefer, that you wanna use for this series, by all means, you use it, girl. I, don't let me control your life like that, all right? So what you need to do is you need to download this, and whether you're on Mac or Windows, it should be pretty much the same, so don't worry about it too much. I'm just showing you guys this if this is your first time developing and you've never really done this before, I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to get it done. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. So open this, and it should go in some folder on your downloads folder. Hit open. And wow, look at that, so simple. Now I already got some junk in here. Don't worry about that, you don't have to have this stuff. This is just what I've been working on developing this course. So yours might be a little bit more empty. So what you can do is you can go to file and then hit open. And this is going to allow you to open a folder. So for example, I can go in here and create a new folder and just say example, like so, and then open this folder. And voila, now we are within that folder and we can create new files over here. So hit that little plus, and then we'll just say hello.py. So that's creating our first Python file inside of this text editor, like so. All right, so if you're in this Python file and you have this little play button available to you, not like a YouTube play button like I have. I mean, come on, get on my level, guys. Hit this play button and that will do nothing because we didn't write any code, but it should pop open the terminal where our output would go. Now, if you don't have a play button here, you may need to just download an extension. It might pop up saying, hey, you're working with Python. Do you want to install this Python extension? Or what you can do is you can download it manually. So go over here on the left, hit this little button, extensions, and look at that. The very first one on here is Python. So you will want to download this Python extension, and that one is under enabled here, but if you need to find it, you can see it in recommended, or you can search it. So we'll search Python, and it should be the very first one on here. So although there might be a little bit more setup using Visual Studio Code compared to using the interactive mode, there's a lot of powerful things you can do with this, and it might allow you to build some larger applications a little easier. So for example, when we say some method, such as print, when we do this, we get all kinds of information pop up, and this will make our life a little bit easier, especially with the nice syntax highlighting and everything like that. So. Very, very nice editor. Now, if you need to zoom in, just hold Command on Mac and hit Plus or Control on Windows. And notice that it zooms in everything, so it's a little funky. So if you need some space, you can hit that and move that aside. So now we can see if this works by saying print hello world and running this. And it says hello world in our terminal right here. So it is good to go. Now down here in the left, it says Python 3.8.2. If for some reason you had numerous Pythons, you could click this and you could select which one you wanted to use for this. So maybe for work you're developing in Python 2 and then for personal you're developing in Python 3. Well, that is how you would swap. So we're gonna stick with Python 3, obviously, come on. And this is where we're going to start in the next video where we're gonna start going through all the different concepts in Python a little bit more systematically. So stay tuned and don't you dare forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. Please, I need to get that gold play button so I can flex that on people as well, you know? Not just silver. I mean, no one cares about the silver one. <laughs> I'm making myself sound so ungrateful. No, but really guys, I am so thankful for every single subscriber and it really helps out a lot. So please hit subscribe and I will see you in the next video.